Hi, my name is Alex Wolf. I'm 17 years old and I'm a maker from upstate New York. Today I'm going to show you my project called CastMinder. CastMinder is a complete orthopedic cast and splint monitoring system that's designed to detect complications inside of orthopedic casts. These complications could include things like compartment syndrome, where an excess of pressure can actually cut off circulation, or moisture inside the cast, which can actually produce things like skin infection, skin irritation, bleeding, and more. This is all accomplished through three different things. The first of these things is CastMinder sensors. These CastMinder sensors are actually embedded inside of orthopedic casts and splints, much like this one right here and they continuously monitor and collect sensor data from the surrounding cast. Uh, they collect things like pressure, moisture, and temperature data. And then these sensor nodes send data wirelessly via Bluetooth to a companion mobile application on an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch. This mobile application continuously uh, analyzes this stream of data from a cast to basically determine if there's a uh, risk of a complication actually developing inside the cast or if there's one presently. This application can then alert a physician, a nurse, or any pertinent medical uh, party that there's something wrong inside this cast. This is the CastMinder mobile application. You can see that right now it's displaying a live feed of all the data that's coming in from this one little sensor node right here. So you can see as I apply pressure gently to the sensor, this little needle right here on screen immediately jumps, responding to how uh, the pressure inside the cast is actually changing. Or if I put my finger on the moisture sensor, the little bit of moisture on my fingers registers as a jump in this needle right here. And there's also a historical view for all the data inside the cast. So you can see I can track my finger along the screen here to see all the past data that's been collected. Additionally, you can view things like the battery level of the device or the temperature inside the cast. Another part of the cast minder system is the active healing portion. The active healing portion of the cast minder system actually can pr reduce patient pain all the while increasing the rate at which new bone is formed. This is accomplished through something called a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation or TENS device and a bone growth stimulator. So this right here is the active healing unit. Inside this box is a voltage converter and another Bluetooth device. And from the CastMinder mobile application that I just demoed, I can actually send commands to this little box here, which will then send electrical pulses to these electrodes, which can be attached to the skin underneath the cast. CastMinder started as this concept right here. The original idea that I wanted to have for CastMinder was a string of connected sensor nodes uh, actually underneath the cast that can send data back to a receiver outside the cast, which will vibrate if something's going wrong. So I initially developed this prototype that you see right here. And while I was testing it, some of the wires actually broke on this prototype and it kind of strangled my arm, which is something that I was trying to prevent here and not actually cause. So after I determined that wires underneath the cast weren't the best solution, I eventually developed wireless sensor nodes. These connected to a receiver outside the cast. While I was testing this system, I actually dropped the receiver and it ceased to function. So eventually I decided that I needed to go for a better solution and I came across a really cheap and inexpensive Bluetooth development board which allowed me to easily connect a mobile application that I've been working on for CastMinder to the CastMinder sensor nodes themselves directly without any need for an external receiver. And this led to the system that we have today.